I'm Angela Nicolide with the Home Safety Council. Injuries are the leading cause of death among young children in the home, but parents aren't taking the necessary steps to keep their kids safe. In fact, our research revealed that parents are spending four times as much money decorating the nursery than they are on safety products. So when it comes to something like airway obstruction, make sure that your children are sleeping in a safe crib environment with a very sparse area, just a sheet. Avoid using comforters or pillows or toys because that poses a suffocation risk. Most of our parents didn't know that fire was one of the number one causes of death in the home among young children. So in this research, we found that three quarters of the parents hadn't planned or practiced a home fire escape plan. You need to have two exits from every room of the house, an outside meeting place like a tree. Make sure that nobody goes back into the home to retrieve any of the items because that is really very dangerous. Now smoke alarms are important too. They provide your family with an extra three minutes to escape in a home fire and they cut your risk of dying in half. Smoke alarms need to be placed on every level of the home in every sleeping area. Replace them about once every 10 years and also Engage your family in checking the smoke alarms once a month and changing the batteries at least once a year. Another hidden hazard in the home is carbon monoxide. It's odorless, colorless, and tasteless and can cause symptoms ranging from the flu to even death. And you can see this room has no carbon monoxide in it because the monitor is reading zero. This is really important to install in all of your sleeping areas and at least 15 feet from any fossil fuel burning appliances. Another hidden hazard in the home are blind cords that have loops. This is a strangulation hazard to young children. So what you need to do is take the cords, cut them in two, retrofit them, and for an added measure of safety, store them high out of reach of young children. Poisoning is a really big problem in the home for young children. You want to be sure that you lock any potentially poisonous items out of reach, household cleaners and medications. As you can see here, this is a look-alike. One of these is a cleaners and one of this is a drink. And here's something every family should have a choke tube. If an object like a grape or a penny or a piece of candy can fit through it, it's going to be a choking hazard for your child. For more information, you can log on to safehomesafebaby.com for more ways to keep your family safe.